fighting. Gilbert the Hurricane Ivel is 29, 6'2", 225 pounds, 1, 6, and 1 no contest in Pride Fighting Championships. And Frank Ivel, who is known for having one of the largest tattoo collections in mixed martial arts, is hoping to add Zensov's name to his KO list. That's right, he has a tattoo that has all the names of his KO victims. I'm very jealous of his tattoos, because you know, Miles, I enjoy a great tattoo. Well, both of them are sporting ink in this, the alternate matchup. Referee going over last minute instructions. Again, we have two strikers. Ivel, known for his flying knee attacks, while Zensov, well, just asked Pedro Hizu about Zensov's power. He scored a devastating 25 second knockout of the once feared striker at 531 in February of 2006. The matchup's underway, and right away, Ivel storms Zensov. Definitely no feeling out process here. Great job is Zensov, weather that first storm. Oh, good on throw, nice job. Zensov immediately into side control, cross-facing Ivel. May elect to start delivering some knees from this vantage point, Trick. He's got, a, he's got his arm caught right here, he could definitely throw that knee in there. He's got, he's got the position on the side, the side, he's going to get the knee in. Oh! Nice added uh, effect to Pride Fighting Championships. A look at that beautiful throw by Roman Zensov. And it looks like he's going for the Americana. He's got, he's, the guy was going to pull his hands put together. He might be able to get out of this. Even though he switches over to the mount, he's still okay for the moment. If his hands separate, Gil, this fight will be over. He's got to keep his hands together. Ivel has been susceptible to submissions. In his last appearance in Pride at Bushido 6, submitted by Ivel. Oh, it's a great job. Wow. Oh, a nice escape oh. by Ivel. Nice work. Ivel did a great job humping through right there. Got, got his hips up, turned him, and got the perfect sweep. Now he's working from half mount or half guard, depending upon which vantage point you're watching this from. And he now tries to cross face Heibel, or Zensov, excuse me. Well, these guys are doing a good job in the early rounds, keep them moving. I like to see uh, uh, Gilbert get his leg up and try to pass this guard, though, to get to a good side position. If he moves his right leg up through his crotch, he can pass him as you see him, as you see him right here in the replay in the corner. You don't see how he hips his legs up, comes through, and counts a great knee, uh, arm lock as well. And while the replay was. Uh, on, we saw Zensov now turn the tables once again on Ivel. Now trying to create that distance, posturing up. You can see that Ivel trying to maneuver. Getting his legs high. Good job. Good job. Oh, good head motion on the bottom by Ivel. Get his head out of the way. We anticipated a stand-up war, but uh, thus far they've been battling on the ground. And the referee's going to reset them in the center of the ring. As they were near the ropes there, give them... Each a level playing field here. Now, oh, and a nice strike by Zensov, but the referee warning him there. He almost uh, thought it elbow. was an elbow. Yeah, it's a little bit, a little bit too close to being an elbow, so the elbows are illegal in Pride. And that's correct. No elbowing to the head in Pride Fighting Championships. You are allowed to elbow the body, though, if you choose to. Zensov getting busy now, going to the body as well as upstairs. You can see that Ivel's trying to neutralize those hammer-like fists of his opponent. You see Ivel on the bottom, he's really not, well, there he tried a little bit, but on the bottom, he's not moving his legs, he's just staying in closed guard. In a position like this, you have to move your legs back and forth, you have to get angles and positions. Get separation from you and your opponent, so you need to get back to your feet or get another sweep. And when you're working from the guard, from this vantage point, we see Zantsov now again going to work upstairs and then going to the body as well, peppering him with those right hands. Who is the onus on, though? We're working from the guard. It's, I mean, Zentsov has to try to improve his position, but like you say, uh, Ivel cannot just lay there and uh, you know become uh, static. Well, a, a guy like Ivel, he, he wants to be on his feet. That's his best position. So we hope to do is hold on to him, tie it up, make the ref stop him, and we start on his feet. He's taking, he's taking some punishment now. His guard's not working. Uh, uh, his head motion is stopping to work now. He's starting to get picked off a little bit. But he's trying to tie him up, really, trying to get back to his feet. Zensov, obviously doing a great job at yard through earlier in the, in the round, wants to keep it here if he can. He needs to be a little bit more active so the ref doesn't stop it. And like his training partner, Fyodor Emelianenko, able to do some damage within the guard. He does a great job ground and pound. I love the, how they, how they uh, uh, when they're wrestling, they bring their head down, but their head's not down on the round. The race, their head is down on their chin, so they're not going to get submitted. They're in a good position to continue. 
And then when they set up, they posture all the way up and throw a really nice strike from, from the uh, ground pound. And again, he's going for the key lock here, the Americana. See if the second time will be the charm, but uh, no danger there for Eibel quickly escaping that predicament. So, of course, uh, striking from the bottom, unable to derive the necessary power. As Zensov again, we see it in spurts here, Trig. He tries to posture up, create the distance, do some damage with the ground and pound, but not a lot more than that. This is a little bit more like, uh, as I've said before, there's, there's basically three styles of the top game. You have your ground and pound, your ball and brawl, and your lay and pray. And, and Zenov's doing more of a ball and brawl. He, he's kind of holding in position, taking a break, looking for a good position, sitting up. Oh, great, great job. switching his hips here now. Good knee bar attempt. Oh, he got past. Good job, and Zenov's getting by. It, it's, you know, and he was sitting up, you know, when he was in the guard, he was sitting up and getting that position. That's why this, this guard pass worked so well, because he was holding on, sitting in his position, and popping up. And you can see Eibel anticipating that uh, right knee strike, has his left arm out there blocking Zensov's knee, as Zensov continues to work diligently, trying to secure the Americana here. And of course, with this hold, oh, his arm's free. He should be putting his own elbow on the, on the mat there, and now another good nice job. backdoor escape. Wow. Eibel, second time tonight. Oh, good knee. Oh, oh, oh and he gets oh, wow. blocked. That's and this Good. one is over just wow. like that. A beautiful knockout for Roman, the Russian hammer, Zentsov, dropping the hammer on the hurricane. That, that's a impressive athlete right there. He had his opponent in trouble, dropped him to the ground, and he stopped. He didn't continue to beat him up until the ref came in and actually stopped it. He could have he, he could have put seven, eight, nine, ten unanswered punches right there and completely ruined Gilbert Ivor. That's what makes mixed martial arts such a wonderful and safe sport, Drake, because you're right. He could have continued, but... Safety is paramount at 4 minutes and 55 seconds of the opening round via TKO. Roman Zensov becomes the alternate in the Pride Fighting Championships Open Weight Tournament, improving to 2-1 and one in Pride Fighting Championships. Great job. I can't, you know, I'm really impressed. He balled and brawled, sat up, got his position, passed the guard, looked for the Americana. As you see here, he gets that, he, you know, he's getting countered out, comes up, here comes the end, a knee to the face. Keeps his posture, hands up, throws a nice right hand, I think and it was the left that caught him. I think it was the left that dropped him as we take a look at this vantage point. Up again, coming up quick. Nice knee by Gilbert, coming in. There it left is. Hook. Left there hook. There it is. You're right, Mar. Left hook right to the chin, lays him down. Great job. Now, he's the alternate. I want everybody to understand. This position is very important. He is the alternate for this tournament. If somebody else gets hurt, he's in the tournament now. So he could literally get all the way through this tournament just by winning this fight and end up being either in the finals or in the semifinals if somebody else gets hurt, opens up a slot for him. And there you see members of the Red Devil Fight Club, world heavyweight champion, Pyra Melianenko. Again, take a look at the replay here, that landing blow, the telling blow of this matchup. 